Gee, I, I sure hope nobody interrupts me as I try to do my intro. Anyway, hey guys, it's me, Double D, with another episode of Earthbound! And that Skelpian had to interrupt my intro. Well, so much for that teddy bear! Anyway, so, last time, we explored the Dusting Dunes Desert Gold Mine and got rid of some moles. And, you know, things just happen. And Paula got poisoned because due to that battle. Anyway, so, in this episode, we just found the gold mine, so it allowed the workers to dig. So if we try to go to Foresight after the fact that we explored the mines, because, well, the moles are blocking the way, you will see that, well, hurry, please, hurry up, please. I, I, I'm pretty sure something should happen. Oh, here we go. There's the truck. Ness, greetings. I'm George, Gerardo Montague's brother. Gerardo is his, is his mine, but he hasn't found any buried treasure yet. We did, however, find a diamond instead. Gerardo told me to give it to Ness. Here it is. Please take it. Why didn't he keep the diamond for himself? Yeah, the diamond. Well, I've got to go. I'm busy working at the other mine. Busy, busy, busy. So, they found a diamond at the mine. And, and yet, he does not consider it buried treasure. Well... If you know your gems, then you would know that the diamond is, of course, very valuable. And, although I can't say how valuable th this particular diamond is because it doesn't have a sprite, we do know there is one place we can think of that can that will accept such a diamond. And that is... Well, uh, yeah, sorry if I'm starting to talk really, really funny because a few days ago I bit my tongue and it's really affecting how I talk, so... Yeah, it'll, it'll sound really, really bad. Anyway, the Topola building. Yeah. With a diamond that valuable, well, based on what is inferred. Oh yeah, I have to present the tickets every time I go here, but yeah. Uh, who has the tickets right now? Um, I'm pretty, who has the tickets right now? Oh, don't tell me I lost the tickets. Oh wait, do I have to buy every time I come here? I do, don't I? Yeah, I probably do. Yeah, so... So, with the diamond, diamond, there's someone that needs the, it. And that is, well, somewhere in here. In fact, if you go here, you want to present the diamond to this lady. Who, who, oh, who has owned, owned five, no wait, blah, 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 blah. Who, who owes the band five million bucks. Or the other way around, yeah. Buried gold? Well, we don't have buried gold. But, I uh, know, uh, wrong thing. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you, please. Thank you. Anyway, so, you said that the only way we could... We could... Sometimes I really, really, really gotta stop with the mindless button pressing. Anyway, so, like she said... We would, she said she need, we need to find some buried gold to pay it off. However... We have this diamond. What, what? What? I can't tell what it is from from this di- Oh, yeah. She's too dumb to see what it is from behind the desk. Ah, crap. I press R L again. L yeah, L, L skips it to the nearest command that will that'll, well, be suitable for the person or thing that you're interacting with. So it automatically defaults that you're going to talk to him if you press L. Yeah, here's the diamond. Yay! That, that, that diamond! You're going to pay with that diamond?! Uh, okay, that's fine. I'll rip up this contract. RIP. Don't tell anyone about the diamond. Now the Runaway 5 are free! You should thank me. That diamond is worth maybe, maybe, $50. So I give you a bargain. I made lots, I made lots of money. You're totally lying about the diamond. It's not 50 bucks. Sorry about being such troublemakers. We won't be so gullible anymore. Well, our fans are waiting, baby. Let's do this one last show, then get out of here. All right, thanks again. No, I pressed the wrong button while trying to advance the dialogue because I need to silence my phone. I forgot to do that before recording. Money, that's what I want. Money, that's what is hot. Money, that's what I want. Money is what we got. Is what we ain't got. Set freedom. Freedom. Freedom.
freedom is what we've really sought. How poetic. And you're gonna repeat yourself. <laughs> and he just pulls it out, pulls them out before he starts to repeat himself. Anyway, so the one every five is gonna do one last show. Better enjoy it because this will be the last show of the Runaway Five in the entire game. Enjoy. Welcome to the final Runaway Five performance at the Topola Theater, and the final one of the entire game. It's going to be a great show! We're so good it makes me think that those kids by the exit will wet their pants! Those kids are hip, baby! truck in there. <laughs> okay, I like how Ness is just having its back turned to them. But yeah, this is it. The Runaway 5 is gonna be gone for the final time. And what do you have to say? Oh, I can't see the Runaway 5 here anymore. I should dump this sorry excuse of a man and become a Runaway 5 groupie. I've heard Venus made an appearance at the Runaway 5 show. I missed her because I went to the bathroom. I hate bathrooms for the rest of my life. Poor you. Anyway, so... Yeah, we have to say go outside and say goodbye to the Runaway Five. Oh, and they're not here. But yeah, you saw them drive off in the stage. Yeah. So, after that, let's see what we have to do. Fa oh, are you the saxophonist? Oh. Never mind. Yeah. So, I don't think the city of Foresight is better than before. Well, it's a city, so that's for sure. Anyway, so... After the Runaway 5's final performance of the game, well, we have to go to the department store. What double day, you may ask? What, wasn't it closed when we got here? Well, guess what? It's open now. So, it's because we need to do our shopping. Yeah, so... Uh, what did I just buy? Uh, no, I don't want the show ticket. I'm just gonna... To, I wasted 30 bucks for it. Anyway... Would you like to return something? What do you want to return? Oh. What happens if we... Oh, yeah. This is where you can sell your items if you, if you want to. Anyway. So, while we're here shopping in the, in the department store, which is big, by the way. You're, later on, something's going to happen in the department stores. And I'm just going to say this. If you have anything important or anything valuable in Paula's inv inventory... Move them to Ness or Jeff's inventory now. Trust me on this, you're going to need this. Also, if for whatever reason you decide to give the Franklin badge to Paula, give it back to Ness. Basically, any important key item, will, any important items that you think you're going to need, like these picnic lunches and a cup of life noodles, well, give them to anybody but Paula. Because, guess what? Spoiler alert, something is going to happen that is going to make Paula leave the party. Yeah. So... Organize your inventory now and get rid of any any valuable key items that will, that might help you However, I want to experiment something what happens if you have a certain key item in there in which case I gave Paula the pencil eraser as you know It erases pencil shape shape well statues and who knows when we might need need to use that anyway Ooh, a men in black everything's so expensive should I return to my hometown buddy you should so, yeah, so if we go to the top floor, yeah, there's a lot of things we can buy. In fact, oh, you're the, I, you're the drugstore. Oh, no, you're just, you're just, well, 
an item shop. Anyway, I believe the top floor contains all the newest items and stuff. In fact, uh, yes you do. And, um, where is, where is it? Because, if I'm right, okay, um, I think that's, that's for later. Because I know there was a photography spot somewhere in the department store, but I guess it's not here. Anyway, so, let's buy some toys. Anyway, so, you saw the last battle killed my teddy bear in one hit, so that was, that, that was a bust. Oh, and the coin of defense. Yeah, I forgot. I should not have sold it, or at least put it in the, in the storage. I'm gonna go do my shopping off screen real quick, so I'll be right back after I do my shopping. $24,000 and $24,669? And I just noticed how much money Ness has in the bank account. Ness, his dad is must be loathed. He must have a good job if he has that much money to give to him. And I just end up taking out $2,000. But no. But yeah. Damn, Ness. Your dad must be loaded. Anyway, so I'll be right back after I do my shopping. It might be tempting, but I would I would not buy the trick yo-yo for either of these guys. Mainly because anything that's not their default weapon has a high chance of missing. So you might want to hold off on that for now. And despite the fact that teddy bears will die easily now at this point in the game, you might as well get one get one now. Because, well, just trust me, you're probably going to need it. In that case, I'm going to continue my shopping and organization of my inventory. Okay, now that, I'm, now that I got all my shopping done, with the four of us going from, from floor to floor via the escalator, let's go leave the department store. Because something is going to go on in the department store, or at least somewhere in Foresight. And I hope I haven't spoiled it enough due to the fact that I just suggested that you organize your inventory so Paula isn't carrying anything important. Anyway, let's leave. Uh-oh. Well, something happened? Your attention, please. With a customer from Onet, Mr. Ness, please proceed to the office on the fourth floor. That was a customer, Ness, on fourth floor office. Gua! So yeah, something happened in the department store, and guess what? We lost Paula. Yep, those aliens passed by to kidnap Paula, and now the store is trying to kill us. This is Musica, and I'm just gonna be straight up with you guys. This is considered the hardest, the hardest part of the entire game. This part, yeah. Yeah, these enemies in the department store are p powerful. Like this Musica, it's putting us both to sleep. Yeah, we can't even move right now, because every time someone wakes up, he's gonna play that melody and try to put us to sleep again. This is why I want you to get some teddy bears, because, well... Oh yeah, these guys will also learn some lightning attacks, so... So, have the Franklin Badge and at the ready once once you take on these enemies. Yeah, Oh. Yeah. Oh, yay! The Franklin Badge is really doing wonders for us. But yeah. This is considered the hardest part of the game because these enemies are powerful, you are one less party member, which is Paula in this case, and you don't have anything viable in the way of offense. Not to mention... Yeah. Oh, the te it touched the teddy bear, which initiated the battle. Scalding coffee cup. Yeah. So it's in your best interest to keep yourself, try to keep yourself alive with life up, get some teddy bears before this whole fiasco started. Yeah. So with, I'm gonna give life, life up to Jeff, and I'm gonna keep attacking the scalding hot coffee cup. Yeah. He's doing some powerful attacks right now. In fact, our first teddy bear just died. Okay, yeah. So, we have to make our way all the way up to the fourth floor of the department store with just these two. And this is not the best best thing because, like I said, we are without Paula, who pretty, pretty much was our go-to, go-to, well, he, offensive PSI user. So, so yeah, we have to make it all the way while, while dodging any suspicious items. Anyway. Yes, customer Ness, please hurry to Paula. Gwah! And that is why we have to hurry because something is gonna happen to Paula if we don't hurry. However, these presents. Yeah, they're gonna in ambush us. Well, not only we encountered Musica, but we encountered the mis mis mystical wrecker. This is gonna get annoying really fast due to the fact that 
that we're gonna be put to sleep probably in the first turn. Oh no, just an electrical shock attack at... Okay, good, he used it on Ness, that's good. Okay, let's take out Musica first before it, everything goes out of control. And our teddy bear died. That was our final teddy bear. Good thing Musica just died, died, so... At least we will take on the mystical record with no problem. Yeah. You know, I am having I'm having good luck on this one, for to be honest. Yeah, this this part took me forever to get through. And uh oh, crap. Lots of presents means Ah oh, crap. The it's right there. The the fourth floor office is right is right there. I might have to do some uh, some like the despawn spawning trick. Ah, there we go. I can work with only one enemy. Wouldn't you know it, it was a musica. Ness, customer Ness. Gua, gua. And yep, we are getting closer. And wouldn't you know that that enemy was a musica. Fortunately though, I still I have a cup of life noodles because I don't think we'll be able to get out until until after we do what we were supposed we are told to do. So I'm just going to heal up. Did I accidentally use a cup of life no Oh yeah, that's that's right. Oh yeah, that's right. Jeff is dead, meaning he can't use items. He, okay, so now I'll use a couple life noodles. Yeah, some, which to revive Jeff. Okay, yeah, I thought I I messed up somewhere, but it turns out I didn't. So I'm just gonna give a picnic picnic lunch to Ness and go into the office. And here we are, the alien that kidnapped Paula. Gua, gua! You finally made it. This department store is gonna be your grave. Gua! You will be gone, and you'll be burning in. Well, you'll go to heaven. Are you trying to- Did you say that just to satisfy the censors? Anyway, you are the department store spook. Yeah, these are aliens, so... So, using- They might have PSI shield. In that case, I'm gonna hit them with a big ball rocket. And hopefully- Oh, that did a lot of damage. He gave fire alpha. Yeah, he knows PSI, and chances are he probably knows PSI Shield, which means he- Brain Shock Alpha! Okay, didn't work on Jeff, and he was defeated easily, thanks to the big ball rocket. Anyway, so, yeah, Ness is now at level 36, oh baby! Oh baby again! And, and 32 for Jeff, and hopefully there's another- Ooh, IQ increase! Even though you could beat me, Master Gygus will avenge me. At this moment, Polly should be... Monotoli. Gua! He's dead. Well... Now that he's dead... The department store is back to normal and plays the music as if nothing ever happened. Yeah. So, we are now minus Paula. Uh, is this really a good time to take photos when Paula is missing and could be dying? Uh, I don't care if your friend is dying. It, this- this toy line makes a great photography spot! Uh, our friend is dying and kidnapped, uh, and do you really want to take a photo when we don't have her- Fuzzy Pickles! Uh, Ness, why? <laughs> okay, I always like making skits on the photography spots, but yeah. I guess that triggers after you defeated- defeated the mook- mook at the, well, department store. With that, well, first of all, we're gonna have to leave the department store because, well, it's practically unsafe. Anyway, so, with that- so, with Paula gone, we- we are pretty much limited to- to physical attacks and the few PSI offensive attacks that Ness can do. So, let's leave. Oh, someone's calling us. Sorry to bother you, big bro. <laughs> okay, wrong voice. Sorry to bother you, big bro. I don't know why I sounded like a man back there. This is Escargo Express. I had a phone call from a friend of yours recently. She asked me to hold onto the pencil eraser machine. Pencil eraser machine. Do you know anything about this? Well, since you know about the item, I'll hold it onto it for you. If you need it, I'll deliver it to you anytime you want. Oh yeah, big bro. I'm glad I could help out you and your friends. So Paula somehow managed to get a phone call to call Tracy to store the pencil eraser. Yeah. And this brings me to something else. So, if you have the pencil eraser in Paula's inventory when she got kidnapped, it will automatically go to the Espresso ex the Escargo Express. And based on the fact that the that the pencil eraser is put there automatically, 
Yeah, that means it's gonna be important later on. So, let's go to the Monotoli building. This elevator is only for Master Pokey's use. It goes directly to the 47th floor. Quit staring at my hips, please! Yeah, so if we try to go to the Monotoli building to, well, rescue Paula, which I will do in a moment. Anyway, so, will, will they let us see Pokey? Probably not, because it only lets the 47th floor. Um. Oh yeah, it just it just resort sort of resort re results in the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, it just so results in the same thing, and it looks like we are probably not gonna see Paula anytime soon. So yeah, we're probably gonna have to ask around to s give us access to, to the Monotoli stuff. You must never show your. You know, I like how we just have to say this again, even if we even after we've done it the first time in the last episode. I. Yeah. Anyway, so let's let's talk to this lady and go down. Lady, once again, if you don't want people to staring at your hips, don't say to stop staring staring at your hips because people are going to do it if you tell them not to. Reverse psychology. It's like me telling people not to search up pe things on Google that might shock them because well they're going to do it anyway. So yeah, we can't do anything now because the Pokey's running the elevators. Yeah, so we're gonna have to ask around to see what we have to do next. Protect Mr. Monotoli first. The safety of the citizens comes second. That's our job, you know. <laughs> so, some corruption going on around here. Anyway, so. Uh, I don't know where to go next. Okay, I do know, but I'm just gonna walk around because my memory of this place isn't the brightest. Well, well, if you don't know where to go, don't know where to go, you can always try the cafe. Because the cafe can have, well, a variety of stuff, like this drunk man. I was in the middle of a caffeine buzz, and I had to get the, to the bathroom fast when I got there. I accidentally knocked on the wall in the, instead of the restroom door. The next thing I knew, someone asked, who is it? And really surprised me. Maybe just imagined it. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised you talked to an ordinary guy like me. I have no information or items to help you out. Don't you think it's natural for a guy from, like me to be here? I enjoy the atmosphere here. By the way, let me quiz you. There are five apples. If you eat one, how many are left? Five minus one is four. But four are left. Ah, oh, that's not funny. Okay, here's another one. Master Pokey's main electro made electro is made to order. Oh, puns aren't funny either. I disagree with you. Puns can be funny if in the right circumstance. Anyway, you... I used to be Monotoli's employer. Then I realized the schemes made my company go bankrupt. My house and land were taken away. Now I'm homeless. Monotoli didn't used to be so powerful. I want to find out his secret, so I'm spending my time here, watching to see if he ever drops in. There's, there's a loud noise inside. Must be the seventh inning stretch. And the fans are singing, take me out to the ball day game at the stadium. So yeah, these guys pro are probably having nothing to say. Or do they? Well, Everdred is lying down in the alleyway right here. There is a person lying on the ground. I wonder if he's... he's... Oh, I don't like seeing a corpse around here! He's breathing. Has he just been playing too hard? He doesn't look like a nice man. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to go like that. I'm glad it wasn't me. And you. Don't cut in front of me. If you give me something, I'll let you have my spot. Will you give me something? So what do you get? Um, have this... I don't have anything of value to give you, so... A picnic lunch. How about that? Are you sure? Alright, take my place. Ugh. Everdread. Poor Everdread. He's probably dead. <sighs> Aren't you Ness? I can't see too well. Everything's blurry. You are Ness, aren't you? It's me, we met in Tucson. Everdread from Berglund Park. You must remember, I'm the best thief around. That carpenter in Happy Happy Village was hiding something. <sighs> Strange. I stole it and thought about selling it in the big city. An old city wise man called it Mani Mani. It is a strange colored doll looking thing. Oh, I'm in pain. And. and. Monotoli tricked me and stole it. From me! He tricked a thief! He wanted me out of the way because I know his secret! He gets his evil power from that statue. Listen! I'll tell you only once. At the cafe, check behind the counter. Ah. 
I said I'll only tell you once. But if you insist, I'll tell you once more. <sighs> do, do, do you want to hear it again? No. You're dying. I'm gonna let you rest in peace. Before I go, here's my last haiku poem. When on your way out, be sure that you s say goodbye. Then lock the door tight. This is my final request. Don't follow me. I must be on my way. Whoa. So long. He's not dead. Or he's probably alive, but walking very slowly. Maybe he's going off to die somewhere. Well. Well, I guess things are back normal. Is that man going to... to... He stared right at me. Ooh, it was scary. He should really go to the hospital like other sick people do. Don't- do you know him? You must be a dangerous kid! I bet you're on your way to Jackie's Cafe right now! Don't you feel better since you had the chance to talk with your friend? I'll- how you helped you find him! Screw you, guy. He's not dead. I thought he may have passed on. He might be able- to be dying, considering he was walking slowly. Yeah, he might die on the way to the hospital. Anyway, so! Everdread, give us our next objective. And it's somewhere in this cafe. So! Next time on Earthbound, we're going to be taking a look at the inside of this cafe to find out what has been going on. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! What? Does Mr. Gerald Geld Geldegard Monitoli come here often? Hello, time to get up! It could never happen! Well, actually, that's not true. And that was your daily bar, bar advice for today, even though that probably wasn't advice. But for real, bye!